Everybody, welcome back to the Castos YouTube channel. Today, we're going to take a look at setting up archive pages for your podcast using Seriously Simple Podcasting and Elementor. The big caveat here is what I'm showing you today is with Elementor Pro. So you need to have at least a single site license to Elementor Pro to do and see some of the things that I'm about to show you today. Okay, up on screen, we have our uh, baseline hello theme by Elementor. If you didn't catch the last video I did, I talked about five of the most popular WordPress themes I feel uh, that would be great for you to do your podcast website with. This is a basic hello, fresh install, uh, nothing else happening on this page, no other theme or design happening. This is what the archive page looks like uh, for your podcast when you're using Seriously Simple Podcasting and the podcast custom post type. Um, other videos on this channel too, if you've never heard of custom post types before, want to figure out how to get custom post types to show up on your site, we're simply adding the slash podcast custom post type to our menu, to our navigation, so that it shows up here. And this is what it looks like, post title, featured image if you're using images, a quick little excerpt, and that's it. That's Hello Elementor out of the box. Actually, a lot of themes look like this out of the box. They might have like a read more or a continue reading link right below it. Uh, but we want to change things up. We want to use Elementor to design these archive pages. And, you know, sometimes we just don't like it to say archives, podcasts. We want it to say this is our podcast page. So first thing we do, we're going to go into the dashboard. One very important piece, well, two very important pieces uh, to this is first we're going to go to Elementor settings. And by default, the podcast custom post type is not checked off. We're going to check that off. So we'll check it off, hit save. Uh, if we don't check that off and you're in Elementor and you're like, where's the podcast custom post type? It's not going to show up <laughs> until you check it off over here. So that's step number one. Uh, step number two, under podcast settings for seriously simple podcasting, uh, what you have to do is decide between posts or custom post types. So what I'm showing you today only works with our custom post types, uh, which is seriously simple podcasting by default just uses the podcast custom post type. If you're mixing it with other post types, like your regular blog posts, and you have podcasts on posts and some podcasts on custom post types, this, what I'm gonna show you today is not gonna work. There's a way to, to get to it, but it's gonna be a little bit more uh, convoluted and complicated, okay? So just the podcast custom post type. We're gonna go to Elementor, sorry. We're gonna go to uh, Templates and then Theme Builder. Okay, once we're in the theme builder, we're going to click on add new. And we're going to select the archive template type, which is largely just going to produce some ready-made templates for you, but we'll give it a name. We'll say Matt's podcast archive, create the template. And what Elementor is going to do is prompt you with the ability to select from a group of or library of archive templates, but we're going to close this for a moment. And we're going to use the posts widget and I'll search for posts on the left hand side in Elementor and then drag that over to our uh, blank canvas. And you can see that uh, the hello world blog post is appearing and the hello world blog post is appearing because by default, the, as you can imagine, the posts widget is looking for just blog posts, just our plain old blog posts. Now there are tons of options here in Elementor. We're not going to go through every single one, largely on the design side of things, uh, adjusting CSS, adjust, adjusting colors and, and text. And you have the power to do that in Elementor. That's largely why you might be using Elementor is to design uh, your site without having to actually write lines of code to do it. But we're going to make sure that this widget is selected, which it is. You can see it right here on the left hand side. We're going to go down to the query section and expand that. And remember when I mentioned before that you should have the podcast custom post type archive enabled in Elementor settings. Um, we'll go to the source and we'll select podcast. And that's gonna pull in all of the podcast episodes that we have using our plugin, Seriously Simple Podcasting. You can see featured images, um, post titles, excerpts, all that stuff, the read more link. And you have the ability to adjust that uh, with the layout section. So you could switch this to a two column uh, layout if you wanted to. You could play around with the size of the images. You could go under style uh, and change the, the gap between columns, which is 
kind of cool. You can do all kinds of things with like box shadow. Um, again, changing the stuff. You can do motion effects as it as it slides in. I don't even know if that's going to do anything. It won't appear here, but you can play with all of these different um, design and aesthetics, which is largely pretty amazing with Elementor. So we're going to go ahead and hit publish. And this is where the magic happens. This is where Elementor Pro comes into play because it has this thing called conditions and logical conditions where it will, you can actually tell Elementor, hey, when my website loads a, a particular page or URL, load the template that I just built, that I just designed here in Elementor. So when I'm going to add the condition here, and you can see, you might already be able to see this, you can see the power to say, wow, I can include this layout for all archive pages, right? So if you wanted all your archive pages to look this way, including your blog posts, you could do that. Um, but if I scroll down to podcast archive, that's it. You just have to tell Elementor, say, hey, on the podcast archive page, make it look like I just designed. So hit save and close. Give that a second to uh, save. And now we'll view this on the live site. So when we click on all episodes, you'll notice up in the URL that it's slash podcast. Remember before it was just this straight list up and down one column sort of stacked information. Now we have our two columns and we designed that. So that's pretty cool. If we go back to Elementor, close these tabs because I don't like tabs open. <laughs> um, we can play with some of the different uh, elements that they give us. We can go to cards. This looks pretty cool. So what this is adding is the user's avatar, um, you know, some more spacing, some more style, some more formatting, and you can kind of play with these designs. But really, some of the more powerful things that come out of uh, using Elementor is being able to choose from their pre-designed templates. So if this kind of layout doesn't work for you. you know, we'll close this, get rid of it, go back into our library of um, templates. This one looks pretty cool, so I'm going to click on insert. And again, it's going to default to the blog post, so we're going to click on this section, select the widget first, go to the left hand side into the query section, switch this to podcast. And you can see here that this kind of layout, bold, in your face, like really cool for a podcast landing page. And I might type in something like, instead of the blog, I'm going to say the podcast. And then Castos, we also have the subscribe links, subscribe buttons to your podcast. So you might drag in a widget like this and automatically put your podcast subscribe icons right underneath you know, the big podcast title. I mean, this could be the name of your podcast. It could be whatever you want. And, and this is where you really start to get into the key differentiators of marketing a podcast and having really good landing pages um, to encourage people to either sign up to a newsletter or to follow your podcast. Two real baseline things that you should be doing to market your podcast, which ultimately helps you grow your podcast. Uh, I noticed that the featured images aren't here, so I'll just turn that on. Uh, select this widget here and turn on the images. Why am I not seeing it? I know it's here somewhere. Show image right here. <laughs> yes. Uh, so there it is. There are our images. And even with this ready-made template, we can switch this to uh, a two column. Or if you have a lot of episodes, or turn that into a four column. And that looks pretty good. And you might even say, well, I'm off by one here. That is driving me crazy a little bit. That's okay. We can switch that post per page down to eight. So it's nice two rows stacked on top of each other. Um, and it just looks great. And Elementor is a fantastic tool to help you design these pages to go a step further than just those plain old archive pages um, that WordPress gives us to, by default. Now, like I've mentioned in other videos, it's largely going to depend on your theme. A lot of themes now are you're able to modify these archive pages. Um, and, but if not, and you want to take it a step further, maybe learning Elementor is uh, a step in the right direction for you. All that being said, yes, you have to get Elementor Pro to do these kinds of things like I showed you today. Uh, I believe at the time of this recording, it's $49 for one website, but you can design your whole website with that. Number two, there is a learning curve. So if you're 
just getting into WordPress for the first time, uh, you're not only are you learning WordPress, maybe you're learning how to do a podcast, now you're gonna have to learn how to do Elementor. So if you're ready for the challenge, um, you'll I guess you'll be greatly rewarded <laughs> at the end of, of all of this stuff, but it's very powerful. There is a learning curve, but once you learn it, you can do some pretty amazing things like build these awesome podcast landing pages. Thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want more. Have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.